In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a low poly tree in Blender. So we are making this pine tree today. You will learn how to model a tree, how to create proper materials for the tree, setting up the lighting and we will render it. And in the end of this video, I will give you an important tip. Let's start. Hey what is going on artists, Abhishek here from cginfinite.com and we are gonna start with the default cube here for the trunk of the tree. Select the cube and place it on the grid by pressing G and Z and holding the control key. After that, add two loop cuts vertically. Select those two loops and scale them on only X and Y axis by pressing S and then holding the shift key and pressing Z. So you will get this cylindrical shape. Select the top vertices of this cylinder and in the front view move it up in the Z axis to set up the height of the tree. And then just scale it down a little bit and also the bottom vertices to get the proper thickness of the tree trunk. To make the tree trunk look more natural, add in some loop cuts and then slightly move them randomly. And then right click and select the shade smooth option to make it look smooth. Now we will create the branches. For that press shift A and in the images select images as planes. But before that you will need to enable this add-on by going into the edit preferences and then checking this box where it says images as planes. So I selected the images as planes and then I selected this pine texture which I created in Photoshop using an existing pine texture and I just duplicated it and adjusted it to create this big branch of pine. Pretty simple. After I loaded that in, I rotated and scaled it and I added the loop cut in the middle and also three cuts on the side. To create the curved look of the pine branch, select the middle loop cut and press O to enable the proportional editing tool and select the type to sphere. Then in the front view, grab that down in the Z axis until you get the proper curve. Move the middle edge loop upwards deselecting the proportional editing tool by pressing O again to get this nice pine branch effect. After that, set the origin of this branch to the starting point of the branch by selecting everything in the edit mode and adjusting its position in the side and top view. So the branch will rotate correctly. After that, I moved the branch in the middle of the grid by pressing Alt G and then I moved it up, scaled it and rotated it until it looked good. And in the edit mode, I moved the branch slightly out so that the branch is connected to the trunk and not intersecting it. And then I duplicated it rotated it 180 degrees on the z-axis, selected both the branches, duplicated and rotated 90 degrees on the z-axis and then I selected all the four branches and I duplicated and rotated them 45 degrees on the z-axis. So now we got this circular structure of the branches. I selected all the branches and I scaled them a little bit, duplicated them and moved them up on the z-axis and scaled them down a little. And I repeated this process of moving the branches up and scaling them each time until I got to the tip of the trunk. Then I selected all the branches and duplicated them and moved them up on the Z axis to make the tree look more dense. To make the top of the tree pointy, I selected the upper bunch of the branches and I rotated each branch on its local X axis by pressing the R and hitting X twice. And I did same for some group of branches. At this point the tree is looking very uniform and as we all know the nature is imperfect we will add some variation to this tree. To do so select all the branches and then go into object transform randomize transform. What it does is that it will randomize the location rotation and the scale of the object which is exactly what we need. So I increase the z value of the location so the branches will look unevenly distributed on the trunk. In the top view the tree looked like a circular design, which is not good at all. So I increased the Z rotation until it looked ok. And I also added a little random rotation on the X and Y axis as well. And I also added slight random scale and check this scale even box by the way. So it will get scaled on every axis. And then I just fixed these floating branches on the top by moving them down a bit and also increasing the height of the trunk. Then I rotated some branches, adjusted their positions, added some little branches on the top, scaled down the trunk tip, just some slight changes here and there just to make the tip of the tree look good. 
Now let's create some materials for this tree. Go into the rendered mode and select cycles. But first, let's quickly set up the proper lighting for this scene. So in the world setting, I selected the light blue color for the environment. And I added the sun lamp. First, I increased the strength of the sun lamp very high to actually see to which part of the tree the light is hitting. And I adjusted the rotation of it until it looked good. And then I set the strength to 10 and selected a yellowish color for the lamp. Now for the materials, I wanted the leaves of this pine tree to be translucent because that's how leaves behave in the real world, they allow light to be passed through them. So I mixed the principal shader, the main shader, with the translucent shader using an add shader. So I connected the add shader to the principal shader first, added the translucent shader, connected the color of the image texture to the color input of the translucent shader, and then connected the output of the translucent shader to the second input of the add shader. That way the leaves will look more realistic. You can disable the background color by going into render settings and under film checking the transparent option to see results bit better. Right now the trunk is looking like it's made out of plastic. So let's change that now. For the trunk, I added the image texture and selected a seamless texture of the tree trunk. But there's a problem. The texture looked very very stretched because the UVs are not adjusted for this trunk yet. So in the UV editor window, I selected all the UVs and rotated them 90 degrees and scaled them on the Y axis until the texture looked ok. And the tree trunk looked very shiny. So I increased the roughness of the shader to reduce that shininess. And to make the tree trunk look more realistic, I added a normal map which I created using the same texture using the software called Crazy Bump. It's a great software for creating all sorts of maps like normal map, bump map, specular maps, etc. I connected that to the normal map node and connected the normal output to the normal input of the principal shader to get this nice wood effect. After that, I adjusted the light a little bit, set up the camera by adjusting the view and pressed Ctrl, Alt and Numpad 0 so the camera will be adjusted according to the view. And I adjusted until it looked good. Then I adjusted the branches of the tree slightly to make the tree look good in the camera. Increased the render samples and rendered it. Okay, so that important tip that I was talking about is always follow some reference photos. Well, you should be following reference photos for creating any model, but it's important especially when you are modeling complex structures such as trees. So keep that in mind, guys. So that's it, guys. You have learned how to create a low poly tree in Blender today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Also, check out my other tutorials on this channel. And if you are new here, subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you will get notified and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.